<clears throat> yeah. All right. Uh, I uh, I don't know if we got a chance to catch up in in the chat, Jay. But the idea was that we're gonna we're gonna end up releasing this tiny segment of our holiday gift guide, and at the uh-huh. end of it, because we're both gonna have we're each gonna have a top three. We're each gonna have a top three uh, Switch, top three three DS, and um, you know that's gonna take two minutes per person, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Maybe three minutes per person. Two, th- two, three times four, that's 12 minutes. So we have to end up with a consolidated top five list. See what I'm saying? Yeah. For so the this uh, is, Nindies, right? The eShop Nindies? Uh, yeah, just digital stuff in general. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And um, so this is our process. <laughs> and okay. we can, All at right. the end, say, hey, okay. if you want to see YouTube exclusive, this is behind-the-scenes okay. footage. So... That's what I figured we'd do. So are we okay. just jumping into the digital nindies, or are you doing the top threes now? Oh, we're just going to do digital nindies. You can all save right, your top threes cool. for later. All right, cool. All right, okay. I mean, we trust each other. I think we all can do that all pretty right, well. All right. <laughs> okay, well, I've got my top three go, 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 go. digitals right now that I'm no, I'm looking forward to. Two of them I've already played. One of them mm-hmm. I'm waiting till the fourth to re- uh, for them to release. Got it. Sweet. All right, let me open um, up the notepad so I can get this all down. So who wants to go first, I guess? Jay seems like he's really chomping at the bit Pretty there. much, because I'm actually... I can actually, So, okay, Rocket League. I'm just going to say it right now. I have oh, played yeah. Rocket League, oh, yeah. Rocket League <laughs> before. I have it for like Steam. I have it for my PlayStation 4 with my friend who got me into it. Now it's available for the Switch. Yeah, I'm just waiting to have an extra twenty bucks to pick it up again because that game is fun as hell. Yeah, I have it. Like, it's I, amazing. You know? Yeah. I'll confess, I have not played it. <laughs> well, now's a perfect chance to play yeah, it. You can play honestly, it. With it is a, it's a great you chance. Know, yeah, and I was totally intending to buy it, not because I, honestly, I've always thought the game looked kind of stupid, but kind of fun. But yeah. then they threw in the Nintendo skins, and I'm like, I need this. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a mode down. called. Low gravity, that's just crazy. <clears throat> like, me and my friend, an old friend of mine used to play it a lot together. And we were just, like, trying different modes. Like, I think they added hoops to it now, so it's not just, like, goals what? and stuff. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. And that's there's, there's, a low, there's a low gravity mode. And what's really fun about it is trying to pull off the trick shots and trying to do all these different things. The funniest thing I like about it is just how, like, when you make a goal, it just explodes and any cars near it go flying back. And it's yeah, just like a great, it's a great feeling. Like the aesthetic of it is like really great. So it kind of reminds me of the old like demolition derby video games on PS One. Like um, I see it. Oh, what is it? Uh, uh, uh the one with the cloud. Um, Twisted Metal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Metal. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Anyway, uh, what's your number two? Number two is Portal Knight. Portal Knight. Oh, Portal Knight. Portal Knight, basically MMO mixed with Minecraft. Because okay. that was kind of like a chill axe game that I used to play whenever mm-hmm. I got too needed. And then I went on the eShop, and that's why when you were all like, yeah, you, you need to pick your digital downloads. And I'm just like, well, I've never been on the eShop. I saw Portal Night, and I'm just like, oh my god, I totally forgot about you. Oh, I'm getting you. And it's like 30 bucks, I think. It's, it's, it's not yeah. a bad price, because it's four-player co-op online, mm-hmm. but it's also two, two-player uh, split-screen as well. <clears throat> I was like, oh, I'm definitely getting that. So that's on my top list. Get back. Sadly, I'm gonna lose all my my progress because the other one was on Steam. Sure. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Like, that's okay. Rerolling is fun. Now, now, just because you mentioned it, though, what about okay. Dragon Quest Builders? I know it's a long ways away. It's not really, I don't think, an eShop exclusive. But Dragon we're Quest Builders. A physical one for that. One. I think I hope we are. Yeah. One. yeah. But like, I really want to get Dragon Quest Builders. Just I it. My friend has Dragon Quest Quest Builders. I've watched him play it. It seems like it's worth owning. Yeah, it's a especially lot of fun. on portable. Yeah, I have it on the Vita, mm-hmm. but my Vita backlog is backlog is so large that I haven't played more than two hours, and I regret yeah. it because it's um, it's hard to explain the charm. It's you know Minecraft when you play it, it it, it feels very Western, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's really the only way I can describe it. Is yep. it's Minecraft, but it, it it actually does feel like a Dragon Quest game if you've played a lot of the Dragon Quest series. And for me, that's a big sell for that game. Yeah, and that's why I like Portal Knight so much is because it's mm-hmm. Minecraft, but more emphasis on the RPG part of it, as where oh. Minecraft has like the little slashy tag. You know, yeah. you get the sword, you can like power it up and whatnot. 
um, <clears throat> Portal Knight has Minecraft plus you can be like three to, you know, they got three classes right now and you can expand the building tree for each class as well. You can make your own like little house, which is what really got me into it. Like Minecraft would oh, and, like store your items and stuff. And so, yeah, I was like, I'm really excited that that's on the switch. Cause I'm totally going to get it. Okay. So, that's I mean, if you guys are interested cool. and y'all get it, let me know and we can like play together. It'd be great. Dude, for real. I'm going to. There's also bosses. There's portal bosses. Are you serious? Like, yes, there are events. Oh, man. In game events as well. Yeah. So, kind of like how Terraria did events, yeah? Mm, kind of, yeah. Oh, that's All sick. Right. But on like a 2D scale, but like on a 3D scale. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, yeah. So Portal Knight would be my second one, and the last one, and I don't know if you guys saw this, but um, Nine Scrolls. Nine Have y'all seen? Yeah. You talked about it. I don't. I don't think I've seen it though, actually. Yeah, I, Nine uh, Scrolls is essentially kind of weird. like Diablo, uh-huh. but the only class is wizard. Uh, okay. Me and my wife. My, oh, oh my wife, no, no, I've seen it now. It's like Magicka, yeah. right? Yeah, Magicka. Yeah, it's similar like to Magicka. Yeah. I played the demo with my wife, and we were actually having a fun time trying to figure out what, <clears throat> what you like, what does what. You start out with a uh, fireball. Ice beam, and then there was the death circle spell, which we were having a heck of a time trying to get control of. We found out how it works because, yeah, but <laughs> it's very is in depth strategy. But I say it's like Diablo because of like the top down view, and you can collect items as you go out through, and you can actually unlock I think seven additional characters to the ones that are there. Oh wow! On Wait, so fourth. what does that bring the roster up to total? I think it's actually seven yeah, altogether. I think. Huh. I might be over, I might be overshooting it though, because yeah. it, it was a lot to take in. Because I was just looking at like new demos. Like it was, if you go online, you can actually download the demo and play it right now. It's actually yeah, it was, worth it. Yeah. Also, the art is just beautiful. The art is what struck me about that. It's really, it's really nice. Like the first area you go to, like you start out in the tutorial area, and you're in the uh, wizard tower. But then the next area is like this beach area. And it's just really well done. The graphics, the enemies are, I can see how it's going to get kind of strategic because some enemies will come in regular and you're just like, I'm just going to freeze you and like freeze you in place. While my friend like fireballs you or my Mm -hmm. friend's going to throw the death circle. And then we're just going to freeze anyone who's in here. One thing that's really cool that we accidentally found out was when we used ice beams, brought them together, a stronger beam shot out from the center. Mm. Oh, and so, so I'm like, like oh, no this is gonna make for. I guess, I guess you could say it's like a Diablo plus Magicka clone in that sense because I ever played Magicka. Yeah, no, it's 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 good, and and it's not to say that it's bad for pulling off of some of those ideas because, quite frankly, that entire genre is, you know, couch co-op is so under we don't get them anymore you know like yeah, it's in, in 64 we days we got gauntlet 64 you know mm-hmm. i remember gauntlet and we just don't have that anymore which is a shame so nine scrolls definitely looks like something to pick up <clears throat> do you have two more you had you weren't limited to three i actually limited myself to three because everything else was just kind of eh, those are the three that screamed like i'm going to get these yeah God. Honestly, I mean, if I have to give a recommendation, this next one's not family friendly, but I have already played it. Um, the Binding of Isaac. Oh yes, Binding of Isaac. Binding of Isaac is such a fun game, but I say it's not family friendly because some of the stuff you get in there, like yeah. the pickup, the pickups, like fucking mom's bra. Mm-hmm. Defense yeah. <laughs> stuff. Well, well, I'm gonna make the argument that it has physical release. It does have physical release. It does have physical release. It does, and it's very like religious based too. Yeah. Like, very dark, very dark story, yeah. but like that's one game that I would like to eventually get again because mm-hmm. there's just like infinite replay value. The levels yeah. recycle and they rearrange each time and just oh yeah, you fell in the toilet. Uh, so Binding of Isaac, <laughs> one more, huh? I actually didn't get too far into the eShop to give that one more. There's been a few that did look good because <laughs> uh, there was the Snipper Clips was good. Oh, yeah. oh that's a fantastic one, yeah. Another great couch co-op. Mm-hmm. So, I guess bouncing back into couch co-op, though, my number one choice is called Number One. So it's like, we just, me and my friends were just sort of looking for a game to play. We saw it just on the shot. And we're like, well, it says it's four players. It looks kind of cool. Let's check it out. 
Yeah, and all my friends and I absolutely love it. So it, it on the eShop, I think it described itself as a multiplayer um, personality test RPG. Wait, what's the title again? I didn't catch Moon that. Hunters. Moon Hunters. Moon Hunters? Moon Hunters, yes. What? I and have so, to the shop right that. now. Check this out. Like, yeah. I want to see some of these. Yeah, so it, it I... looked really cool. So we were like, okay, well, it's like 15 bucks. Let's just buy it and play it, whatever. <laughs> so we all we bought Moon Hunters, and it's absolutely amazing. So it's it's an RPG, and it's... <clears throat> Wait, define RPG. We're talking action RPG, turn-based RPG? More action RPG, okay. imagine. Because it's not turn-based. It's, it's yeah. real-time strategy, but it's more like you have an open world, yeah, and then yeah, you have open, you have like the level, I guess. And you just the right, the attack right. the enemies at the level right. using your abilities. So more like, I guess, a dungeon crawler in a sense. I don't know. But so you pick your characters, and so there's, I think, six total... There's a ritualist, which is uh, a spell like user. There's a blood witch, which is like very powerful sword, not sword, but like they call it blood magic. Um, there's the druid, which is, uses transformations and vines and plants. Um, what else? The sun cultist is a character we just unlocked him tonight, what? which is super fun. And he like <clears throat> he, he summons the sun Ooh. and fire, and he's. I don't know, I'm loving weird. the art style on this. The art style is yeah, phenomenal. I'm that too. The art style is great, and, and it has some voice acting, and it has a no. beautiful, beautiful soundtrack. The soundtrack oh. is amazing. My friend bought the entire soundtrack on, I think, mm -hmm. just Bandcamp or something, and they they're loving it. It's such a good soundtrack. Um, but also, I feel like I shouldn't say this, but like, there's a, I guess it's the main theme or like the. Some kind of big important it. song in it, though. Yep, if you play it backwards, the lyrics are are in reversed. Wait, <laughs> no, in no way. You're yeah, mm -hmm. intentionally. Uh, yeah, yeah, intentionally. What? But even so, you're listening to it backwards, but um, it sounds beautiful backwards, <laughs> and it sounds beautiful forwards, and it's like, <laughs> but it actually makes sense forwards because it's. Just I'm a bunch of working. weird stuff backwards, <laughs> but it sounds beautiful. Um, but the soundtrack is absolutely amazing for Moon Hunters. Um, and like each play it's session an takes about like, an hour <laughs> or less. Honestly, an hour or less, because it's like so. Each e e the game is entirely like you have three days before you basically before the sun just like takes over the moon, and then huh. that's the end of the game. The sun wins or something. But so in every so. <laughs> You, you just played that scenario over and over again, because I guess the premise is that, that you're, you're legends of a story, and so oh. every sort of person told the story differently, and the heroes do different things, and everyone's retelling. Um, the heroes, you know, are different people, they're different skills, they did things differently, different choices, different actions. Um, and so there's, like, replayability. So you play those three days, um... Well, there's five days total, but three of them actually matter. Again? Um, you can take different choices, different I'm characters, right. um, different scenarios, different explorations, different maps every single day, and things change. Uh, you get, like, a per like I said, it's a personality test, so at the end, like, it gives you, like, a personality test, but, like, as a legend that are, are passed down through the ages, your personality and your choices, which is super cool. Because, like, not only do you get all that, like, the, the analysis of your results, those huh. affect your stats, they affect... That's kind of cool. Um, I know, and I love this game so <clears throat> much. Um, each character has different abilities and different upgrades. There's there's just so much to do. We're all loving it. Like, I'm not the one call it game of the year. No, like, it originally came out, like, 2014 on PlayStation 4, I think. But it's such a good game. Moon Hunters is definitely my top pick. It's, like, all we play other than ARMS. <laughs> Huh. Um, but yeah, and it's couch co-op, which is great too. Going off yeah. that again, you know, we may uh, have to me. divvy up an own section for couch co-op, which I wouldn't be. Uh, I mean, we should start up like a couch co-op stream for us. I mean, I would be down. Be I mean, couch yeah. co-op though. Wow, we'll have to work on that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, virtual couch. There we go. We'll yeah. all get a couch. <laughs> Bring a couch. 
BYC. Bring your own couch. BYO, BYOC. Bring your own couch. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, looking through my collection, I guess, there's nothing really that might stand out other than the Shovel Knight collections. Of course. Um, yeah. All the Shovel uh, Shovel Knight is great. They're coming out with uh, card King of Cards soon. Yeah, I saw that. So that will be the last one in like the installments, which is Shovel Knight's always worth picking up, honestly. Shovel Knight's Hard to tell. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> and then I'm, I'm a big fan of Inky Creates. Um, so I got to say is your striker, Gunvolt. Oh, yeah, and of course. There's also Blaster Master Zero, which is fun. Um, there is Mighty Gunvolt. It's it's simple, but it's it's fun. So anything I think I tried Master Blaster Master Blaster Master Blaster is fun. Um, it's kind of complicated too, though. It took me a while to actually figure everything out. So now I'm going back into it, though, trying to do things right. But, yeah, yeah, I finished that game, uh, but I didn't get the good ending. So oh, I need to go okay. back and figure out how to do that. Because... There's also a lot of really cool DLC characters, though, too. Yes. Abso freaking lootly. Like I haven't mm -hmm. gone back to play with any of the new stuff they mm -hmm. released, but it's <clears throat> that's a fantastic game. Yeah. Like you it's, know, it's a, is just great. Yeah, they're they're a really solid company. Mm -hmm. Which is both them and Concept Concept, which is such a shame. Concept, yeah. With the fiasco that was Mighty Number no. Nine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, well, technically, that, that Creates is listed as a developer in Mighty Number no. 9, too, so they get a yeah. bit of heat for that. Yeah. But it's such a damn shame, because, you know, mm -hmm. I, I really think that when it comes to Mighty Number no. 9, it was the development process and the Kickstarter fiascos which really mm -hmm. uh, mired people's perception of the actual game Probably. itself. Because, you know, the actual yeah. game itself wasn't bad. It was Mega Man 1 reskinned, which... You know, was what they were intending. I think people were partially expecting Mega Man X or Mega Man Zero, yeah. that kind of stuff, and they didn't get it. Yeah. Like, dude, it's not what he was intending. So, mm -hmm. so I think that also hurt people's perceptions of the game. Probably. <laughs> like, <laughs> legitimately, the only real criticism that I think <laughs> that a lot of people levied at it was the mm -hmm. frame rate issues. It was really absurd to me that you would see explosions, and that would cause dropped frames. I'm like, what were you doing with your code that caused that crap? Really weird to me. The last one I'd say is... Is it my last one? I don't know. Stardew Valley? Oh, yeah. I absolutely enjoy the planet. <laughs> um, I guess my two kind of runner-ups, though, are Tumbleseed, uh, which is was, just really, really huh. cool. Rogue. Like, it's, it's weird and kind of... Eh. But it's if you really get into it, it's a lot of fun. It's got a lot of replayability. <laughs> and then the last one, and, and it's a really fun challenge. We actually did it. I actually I'm <clears> so <throat> proud that I did it. Um, but you give one person one Joy-Con, the other person the other Joy-Con, and you control the right side and they control the left side. What and for tumbleweed? For tumbleseed, yeah. And oh, it makes man. it so much harder. <laughs> But oh, I can't even imagine. You, you can, okay, up, 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 down, down, down. All right, stop, stop, stop. Roll my way. <laughs> and just yelling. And it, it's so much frustration. But we got to the top of the mountain. I was so happy. Mm. Yeah, that's intense. Um, but yeah, that's my favorite way to play it, though, is just give one person the other joy kind. Just like, okay, we're going to be either best of friends or the worst of enemies by the end of this. Yeah, it did. It's like yeah. Russian roulette in the way. Most yeah. Epic. Either that, I mean, that's my other runner-up, but then we have Jackbox Party Packs are always oh, fun. Those There's are all really four popular. of them on there. Mm -hmm. Those all are... Streams lately. Yeah. yeah. I've been Wait, playing them really? Them. People have been playing that on streams? Yeah, yes, they have a been. concept, though, because you can join the audience, or, like, people can, in the chat can be the players. Yeah, because all they have to do is go onto the website that's based mm -hmm. on it, because I've played it before. Jackbox, mm -hmm. Jack, yeah, Jackbox Party is fun as heck. Yeah. Wait. Can you play with the people in your stream? Yes, you yeah. can. Yeah. You can wow. they, they just need the code that's on the screen, and then mm -hmm. they need a phone to play with. Oh, that's dude, it. I had not even thought about that. That's really clever, mm -hmm. actually. I actually um, have a photo. But, uh, but the Jackbox games are always fun. I feel like mm -hmm. it might be a stretch. Like, because there's only like two or three games in each one that's actually like good. In yeah. all honesty. I think, I think everyone likes playing fill-in-the-blanks. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
I mean, Monster Seeking Monster wasn't that good, but Break the Internet or Survive the Internet was great. Um, in four, I like Fibbage. Uh, in four is fun. But then like, but what else is there? Bracketeering, kind of, I guess. Yeah. But then it's like, a shame that they they uh, divided them up the way they did. I kind of wish they would all been together. I mean, like, they I'm make them happen. all like in the pack. So it's like by the time one was out, I don't think that any game was even thought of for four at that point. Mm. Well, they have all four of them on the network, right? On the eShop? On eShop, yeah. All four yeah. of them you can buy on eShop, yeah. But there's no, like, bundle. I would have loved a bundle, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would have loved to have a bundle. Mm-hmm. Or, like, like... all four is, like, 100 bucks or something? Probably. But then it's also, Let's like, if you want to... Well, we're actually the most, like, if I, I would be down to play or pay the 100 bucks if I had to, for because I use... I play Jackbox a lot with my friends. But, mm. so... But the problem is you have to close to out to of Jackbox it, like okay. four, and then go back to two, and then oh, go back yeah, to three to play like, everything you want to play. Yeah. But I guess after those games, my list is done. So that was Moon Hunters, Shovel Knight, <laughs> Inti Creates. I'm just going to say Azor Striker Gunvolt. So that's like my favorite one, like. obviously. And Stardew Valley with Tumble Seed and Jackbox games as run ups. Yeah, sounds pretty solid. Um, now I'm up. What was the first one I was gonna? Oh, the first one, of course. You know, I'm gonna give it to the Blue Hedgehog, Sonic Mania. Okay. Mm-hmm. That was freaking fantastic. I still haven't finished it, but it was such a yeah. fantastic game. I need to finish such it. Such a great too, throwback. Yeah. It was really. Really well done. Uh, let me see what else I have that's digital. Um, you know, I'm going to give this to a... N- number two is going to be a weird one because it's, you got a nice it's not like... It's been released before. That's right, focusing me. Mm-hmm. But it's a classic. Uh, that tracer got me. I'm dead. Most of the ones I show have been released. So... King of Fighters 98. Oh, yeah. I was wondering if it would be like a Neo Geo title or something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's worth it. I'd say that might be deserving of this list. Yeah. Wait, no. Not King of Fighters 98. It was, I think it was 2000, the one where Kula's first there. I don't know. Do you, do you have multiple King of Fighters on your Switch? No. I only have 98. I haven't gotten back okay. to getting the other one. because okay. uh, So they released 98 before they released the other one. Uh, uh, well, that tracer they, was wrecking my they first shit. They came it, out with like so. ninety four and ninety five, and then they released mm-hmm. the other ones later. Uh, but that's number two. I'm gonna All go right. with uh, Blaster Master Zero as well because that was okay. a fantastic game. Well, technically, I picked Azor Striker Gunvolt Striker Pack, but yeah, yeah. you create is just a great studio. Yeah, they're really, really solid. Mm-hmm. So I'm definitely gonna gonna agree with you there. Uh, I mean, there's... Galgon's questionable, but it's also kind of like, if you're getting Galgon, <laughs> you know what you're in for, too. I haven't touched that one yet. Um, I, I don't. I haven't touched it either, but I know 2 is coming to the Switch. Is it? Galgon 2 oh, is coming Galgon, to the yeah. I have yeah. the first one, but um, I honestly didn't play it. Because, again, it's on my Vita. My Vita mm-hmm. backlog is massive. Yeah. So... Uh, but, like... It's weird to think that Inti Creates makes Galgun. It just wait, they do. Yeah, yeah. Inti Creates makes Galgun. That's weird. So mm-hmm. I bought the big collector's one from Europe. The Europe only released one. No, actually, it wasn't Europe released. They had a North American version, but the big collector's edition um, was being released by a European company. And okay. this is the one where they included the 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 panties in the collector's edition. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think I, I actually don't follow it enough. It's not like the DLC ninety buck um Fairmon Z thing. That's the only thing I really know. Is Fairmon Z is like ninety bucks for X ray vision. Let me see uh, I don't know which but... one this is. Uh, I only really, really know it because it creates makes it. I wouldn't really play it otherwise. Well I haven't played it at all. I might get it as a joke just because two's coming on the switch though. Oh no, it didn't properly link. Alright. Uh, 
So this is, this is gonna be something that people see when they watch our behind the scenes. We're talking about Galaga. <laughs> They're gonna be like talking about panties and stuff. So <laughs> I have to confess, the one game I really hope comes to North America is the new Senran Kagura game. I mean, just for the it? fact it's Senran Kagura, I I would probably get it. Plus the curiosity of this year, like they wanted to experience with HD rumble, like jiggle physics and softness. Yeah. Which I have to experience that once in my life. Yeah, like, definitely. I'm own. super tempted, but, honestly, to import it. You can get it right off the Japanese eShop, though. And there's no region locked. Well, that's true, so. I could. Yeah. But, like, it's just, like, massage minigame from what I heard. So I don't feel like that's really worth it. If I'm going for Senran Kagura, I kind of just want, like, oh, yeah. an action-ish or some kind of not massage really... It seems like it's not the best gameplay-wise, which... I know Severin Kagura gameplay, what? But but I mean I feel like I yeah. want more if I'm gonna get a Severin Kagura game. Mm-hmm. You know, it's know. it's, it's a bit, bit of a shame because Severin Kagura as a whole actually has a has likable characters, mm-hmm. um, a reasonably good storyline. You know, actually and- they have a racing soundtrack. The Severin Kagura soundtrack is actually amazing. Yeah, you're right. No, I haven't thought about it, but it actually is pretty quite good. And like, uh, I only picked, picked it up that, honestly no. because my friend recommended the okay, soundtrack. Yeah. Believe it or not, and then I was hooked. Oh no, that's I bought it. Because, yeah, I bought it a trashy weeaboo game, and that <laughs> didn't. Uh, but so much of it, there's it, it has such good things going for it that people just discount because of the. It's the not the game you want someone to see on your shelf. Yeah, I have a lot of those. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to digital. Number four, I am going to clock in with Worms. Okay. Oh, Worms, Worms Mass Destruction. Yeah, okay. That's oh, a classic, yeah. Because yeah. Worms is a yeah. classic. Mm-hmm. Definitely going to go with that. All right. And uh, what was the last one I was going to do? Oh, the last one I was going to do, I found out that was a 3DS title, and I was like, shit. <laughs> It was going to be the Apollo Justice because initially read it. Oh, yeah. Getting to it's amazing. Um, you know what? I'm going to give it to Octodad. To what? Octodad. 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 Yeah, it's just a funny, funny. Oh, I'm going to die again. I'm fucking dead again. Mess around with. Yeah, it's I love so big. Just like. Yeah. That was that was the biggest thing that YouTubers were playing for <laughs> years was Octodad. Probably, yeah. yeah. Uh, Let me just like check the eShop for games because you know there's games that are like on my to buy list. Like, yeah, actually, yeah. There was a Toho game, but it's not a typical Toho game. Mm-hmm. Yes. They have a couple of those. They're 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 quite good. Um, well, I mean, it's I like, like to buy them physically when they offer them. Yeah. I think they've done all of them physically so far. I just haven't bothered to buy like, them. So with all of the talk of like Cuphead being like really hard bullet hell, I'm just like. You people obviously have not played a Toho game. <laughs> yeah, we played Toho. So now this comes the fun part. Now we have to narrow this list down to a top five. You know, I kind of want to take the couch co-op games first mm-hmm. and give them their own like top three couch co-op. Yeah. I want to say that too, honestly, but like yeah. that that would mm, I feel like that's breaking the rules. But everything we've said, honestly, I feel like deserves a place on this list. But oh, there can only be three or five. Five. There can only be five. Yeah. You know, I think we should just do three couch go up and then uh, other five generics. That's what I'm done with. Okay. What do we have for couch co op? We've got nine said- scrolls, Moon uh, Hunters, Moon Hunters, yeah. Portal Knights. And Portal Knights. I wouldn't really consider Portal Knights couch co-op, though. Oh, okay. I thought you said it was. My bad. All right. No, it was um, four-player co-op, but like online, like go off oh, your own thing, not couch it. co-op material. But yeah. I guess technically, um, Jackbox is couch co-op. True. Mm. There was another one that was couch co-op. That I remember Tumble seed. That... If you pass the Joy-Con, like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but no one wants to put up with that other than my craziness. It's gotta yeah, be out of the hard, box. Yeah. It's gotta be out of the box, catch go up. Uh, That's my only stipulation. 
Well, it's out of the box. You just got to be creative with it. <laughs> don't, don't care. No extra thought needed. <laughs> um, Fine. Shoot, there was one more. Uh, snipper clips. Why am I blanking? Oh, you know, maybe it's in my... Snipper clips? Snipper clips is Couch Co-op. Yeah, that's the one. Snipper clips. Definitely mm-hmm. snipper clips. And now they released the new, newish snipper clips. So it was like extra stuff to it. It's just DLC, the but then they have a like, whole bundle as like a whole game too. Okay. But That's if we what... had the first one, we're supposed to be able to get the DLC for free. I haven't. Yeah. With it, but... Not for free, but it's like for less than buying the whole new game. Oh, okay. That's still reasonable. I mean, yeah. I can't really complain. All right. Mm-hmm. So we've got the top three couch go up, and then we have to narrow down what's left. What's left to the top five. So, uh, do you guys remember what's on this list, or do I need to do it? Did you guys write so, it down? Did I share? We, it's great. I mean, it might be nice, but we had Portal Knights, Rocket League, um, not Binding of Isaac, and then Nine Scrolls. Uh, oh, cool. Let's uh, let's take a look. See here. Okay, Rocket League, Portal Knights, Nine Scrolls, Hunters, Shovel Knight, Zero Striker, blah blah blah, Stardew. I kind of feel like Stardew is going to be on there because of how popular Stardew Valley is. I mean, yeah. yeah. Like how much replayability there is to Stardew. Mm-hmm. I also yeah. think like Rocket League too. Well, because Rocket League really popular. It's well, it has gotten memorize. really popular. Yeah. Like a lot of people thought that was going to die off. I thought it was going to die off. Yeah, I was wrong. A lot of people <laughs> were wrong. <laughs> Where do I'm going to say. I'm. I want on this top five definitely. Um, I already lost them. <laughs> I want. Oh my god! Stardew Valley, Rocket League. Um, where to go? Azure Striker, Gunvolt, and then where to go? What did I even say? I I lost all thought. Oh god. Okay. Stardew. What was it Rocket League? Rocket League. Oh. What's the other one? Rocket League, Stardew Valley. <coughs> uh, Azure Striker Gunvolt. Fuck, I'm gonna die. And then... How many is that? That's three so far? That's three votes for you. Stardew Valley, Rocket League, Azure Striker Gunvolt. Ooh. Hmm. I click and make that. Beak. Not. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna boost I'm gonna go. charge up for Someone, I'll I'll get I'll get back to me. Get back. To okay. Me. Actually, yeah, no, yeah. no, shovel knight, shovel knight. Oh, yeah, and then of course. That makes four. So now get back to me. <laughs> All right. You wanna? I'm in there. Fucking tracers bother hmm. me again. Shit, we're fucked. I'm actually gonna have to give a vote for worms because I do like the worms games. Yeah. I do wanna put that on there. Um Sonic Mania has to be on that list because Sonic Mania just they it was hard not to. Like I don't have Sonic Mania, but from what I've seen of it, like it deserves to be on there. Um, it was pretty influential, I would say, for the entire year. It was fun. Like, what won me over was the mean bean machine mini boss. Yeah. Like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting about Sonic Mania is like, <clears throat> when when you have hardcore gaming groups where it's cool to shit on Sonic and everyone is saying Sonic Mania is fantastic, you know you've done something right, you know? True. Well, yeah. Versus, you know, Sonic Forces. Yeah. Which I honestly think Sonic Forces isn't nearly as bad as people are saying. But it's no Sonic Adventure 2. So, I mean... I, yeah, I mean, I feel like it's neutral where I'm just like, I can take it or leave it. I don't hate it. Don't like it. I it's it's like throwing it. a bone to at least 3D Sonic fans, which yeah. I feel like is a good thing always, at least. Yeah. At least it wasn't a letdown. It was <laughs> okay, I guess. You know, one of those okay, I guess games, right? Yeah. Which is a win for Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 3D yeah. Sonic. Which is like, we don't forgive you for 06 Sonic, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're never gonna bring him pro like Sonic. Um, so you got those are your two votes so far. What else you got? So I'm gonna go ahead and throw Rocket League up there just because Rocket League is very popular. It's hard to argue with how good it is. Um, God, Azure Striker. I have not played it, but I looked. Look, I saw the box art, and I'm just like, this looks like it could be a good game. It's, so, it's amazing. Striker, I love it. It plays like 
Mega Man Zero for the Game Boy Advance. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. It's got my vote then because I fucking. It plays it. like Mega Man Zero, but then, like, the whole concept of how you play is really cool because it's like your pea shooter, which you see in like other Mega Man games, is, is not how you directly damage your enemies, and your electricity isn't how you directly damage enemies either. Yeah. Instead, so you have your little pea shooter. Pea shooter shoots tags, which then, mm-hmm. once you tag something, your electricity then conducts to the tag, which then damages the opponent. So if yeah. you tag them with a pea shooter, then you can use your electricity. And it's yeah. a really cool way to approach the combat, I thought. I just love that. But it's, it's okay. very fast. Very it's fast. Very like fast. Mega Man Zero. Platforming's yeah. tight. Bosses are really cool and creative. Level design's top notch. Yeah. Um, like I will say, it has it has been on my I want to buy list for a long time, but I just forget okay. it's there. So I've been playing like, since three DS, and I, and I play the Switch version too much as it is too. Yeah, like even I've already played it on three DS, but because like you can speed run. There's like leaderboards. There's clears like, ranks. There's different ways to do things too. Like yeah, it's really fun. So. Is it just my imagination, or are we just doing a limited to five votes? Oh, I was doing five votes. You're doing five? Okay, <laughs> I was making sure. I was like, did someone say five votes? Because I got one more. Okay. I was, I was like, okay. For the last one, I'm actually stuck between the two, because I, like okay. art- I, I like the art style of Moon Hunters, but I also really like Nine Scrolls gameplay. So oh, okay. I got them both on, so don't worry about that. They're, all, okay. they're both going on in their own si- couch co-op section. Yeah, that's what so I was thinking, like, Okay. I, well, the ones I wanted to also put in the list were already on the top three for couch co-op, though. Yeah. Okay. Well, then putting those aside, then I am going to have to go with good old Stardew Valley. Yeah. You get all that replay value from that game. Yeah. yeah. I, I've okay. So you know, farm what? for gonna, days. Make those spirits happy. Get stuff up and running. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Stardew as well. All right. Uh, so then that means that Stardew is definitely in the top five, then, right? Oh, easily. Yeah, all three of us voted for it. I think I heard Dennis. Stardew, I, I've have I've got a real big soft spot for um, farming games since I mean, since <laughs> uh, shoot Harvest Moon for the for the SNES. Since since I've since that game, I have always had a soft spot for that kind of style game. You but know? then also, like every single Harvest Moon was never really perfect. In that something that. I have to admit. But Stardew Valley came close to as close to perfect, if not perfect, than any individual Story of Seasons or Harvest Moon game could get. Yeah, I feel so. That's why it's so great. <clears throat> um, all right, uh, I'm gonna give it to Stardew. I'm yeah. also gonna give it to Sonic Mania because okay. that so, so that that game did something that I never thought another Sonic game would that I'd never ever do, and that would be buy a Sonic game at launch. Because I bought Sonic Forces at launch <laughs> because of Sonic Mania. Uh, oh. I had such a great experience with Sonic Mania that I was like, you know what? How bad could Forces be? That was their plan all along. Yes. They're going to butter you up. There's uh, like, Sonic, you know, remember Sonic Mania? <laughs> Sonic Forces is coming out. You're going to buy it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, hard to share my opinion with Sonic Forces. It's, it's not. Great, but it's not bad. But hey, uh, it's anyway. an investment you can use to trade in for something better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I should have waited though. I should have. Uh, I could have gotten it on sale for Black Friday. True. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. It was uh, well for me. It was either get Xenoverse Two or Sonic Mania, and like Sonic Mania was like five bucks more right still. I ended up getting neither, but they were cool sales. I got one two switch on sale. Uh, I forgot. The That's game. the game I wanted to get. I wanted to get it on sale. Yeah, it was worth it for yeah. like the the twenty. I think it was only twenty, but yeah. Oh, that would have been really good to get for that price too. Shoot. Mhm. Because it's not oh, worth it's the full price. You know? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's like, just a fun like party game. And that's the trade-off. It's like it seems like it'd be fun, but I don't want to pay that much. It should have just been a pack-in with the Switch. Yeah. yeah. Like they did yeah. with freaking Nintendo Land and Wii Sports. For the well, see, I was still I was still bummed about Nintendo Land though, because it's only a pack in with the deluxe version. Yeah. And the oh, Target, yeah. their Target, Kmart, Kmart that I waited outside at midnight for only got the basic models. No, that mm-hmm. sucks. So I'm like, it's either I get a Wii U or I don't. So I just got the that basic sucks, model. Sucks, dude. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, well. It's in the past. Yeah. 
But I agree with that. Um, all right, so I've got Stardew, I've got Sonic Mania. I'm gonna have to go with Azure Striker as well because that game was okay. fantastic. How um, much is it right now in the eShop? Because I know I'm probably getting a, I'm, uh, I'm probably getting a few eShop cards. <laughs> so I'm making a list of things <laughs> I'm gonna buy. I was I like, mean, Azure Striker is gonna I'm gonna save it. I'm not sure if the Striker pack is worth the same or less than buying them both individually like on the 3DS or something. But Strike Pack is really <clears throat> worth it as it is, though, honestly. And then uh, uh, Rocket League, of course. Multiple, even though I haven't played it, I recognize um, it's not... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Influence right now on the mm -hmm. scene. So that's a... It's a and just how big, like, for a game like Rocket League to be released on a console like the Switch, that's got, really big. Yeah, yeah. especially, especially the cross-platform. Yes, yeah. the cross-platform was the biggest selling point. It was like, okay, cool, because now I can play with people on PS4 or Xbox. You yeah. can't play PS4, though. That's the... That's the oof, or is it just... Almost. It's, it's not placing... Sony said they went to the cross-platform. Because it's really? like, they, they, they were the only ones who could protect people, and so they weren't going to... Allow that to be breached or something. I don't know, but they're not a part of the Rocket League. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the other things that were also uh, I don't think we mentioned on is the fact that it's like an esport game as well, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And so having one of those on the Switch, true. That's interesting to me. Mm -hmm. That's really mm -hmm. interesting. I feel like the Switch is becoming home to like a lot of competitive oh, games. Yeah. That I mean, you do. Most competitive games, you could even argue, or could be played casually. You have Splatoon, ARMS, yeah. a lot of other fighting games like Pokémon. Uh, you're given Rocket League. Sombra. Uh, what else? Morphe's Law, when that comes out, could be interesting. Yeah. Yes. Morphe's Law looks freaking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I agree. I completely agree. Um, what else? Right, I'm gonna There's more you. competitive games, and I'm trying to blank, but oh well. But I feel like it's becoming a, a decent hub for competitive gaming. Pokemon, when feel? that comes out, Switch Nationals, something. Oh, Pokemon mm -hmm. Tournament, of course. Well, well, I mean, like the mainstream Pokemon games, though. Still. Oh yeah, 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 yeah because definitely. VGC and Smogon are a thing. Yeah, we're still waiting on the official like yeah. more information on this Pokemon unnamed Switch Pokemon yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. But either way, um, when it comes, it'll be it of representative in um competitive Pokemon community. Oh yeah. So you know, I'm gonna have to give my last vote to Worms just because of how influential it was to me in my childhood. All right. I remember I had a friend, like one of my best friends, even to this day. Um, 2002, we would stay up all night playing Worms on the Dreamcast. <laughs> Yeah. All right. The... So, you have one more vote. I do have one more vote. So, you not to exercise it. Just say it. <laughs> I feel like what, what what would my last vote change? And so I feel like what would be the big thing. So let's just make sure like what is in the top five currently. Sonic oh. Mania. I feel oh, like yeah. or Azure Striker, Rocket League, and Stardew are all in the top five. For sure. For sure. <clears throat> okay. So then at this and, point, it looks like Worms is taking second place, or Sonic Mania, or fourth place. Worms or Sonic Mania are, would be tied. Mm-hmm. None of you guys actually voted for Shovel Knight other than me. Interesting. Oh, um, I like I love Shovel Knight, but I mean... Yeah, I don't Worms, know. I get it. Worms um, has a weird appeal to me, that Shovel Knight, as much as I love it, it didn't... Uh, yeah, I get it. I understand. Just don't worry. I'm not disappointed. too offended. <laughs> <laughs> disappointed, not offended. <laughs> um. All right, so let's look at what we have so far. Actually, so we had. Can you scroll up? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Portal Night, Night Scroll, and Scroll Night. Fast and Furious Star Wars. Lucio. I guess my vote would go to Sonic Mania. Out of, right. out of our list, definitely yeah. Sonic Mania. And so basically that means that Sonic Mania, Rocket League, Zora Striker, and Stardew 
are the top games, and then Worms is fifth place with only two votes. Fuck, that. No, yep. Okay. It's actually a pretty nice varied list. I was afraid like this mm-hmm. would all be like Nintendo stuff. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Like, I like this list. This Although, is very good, honestly, very list. I feel like if it's Nintendo, they were mostly games that would be physically released anyways. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. So who do you mm-hmm. want to place in first? Rocket League? Or Stardew? So are we just like deciding who gets what spot now, I guess? Um, yeah, because they all got three votes. So. I mean, yeah. I, say I would say Stardew <laughs> is my number one. I say Sell It and Smash. Sell It and Smash! <laughs> <laughs> we'll just get CPUs and name them each of them and put them on level nine. <laughs> and just let them have at We totally could do that, actually. <laughs> we we should train up, no. We tr- like get one to represent, and then it's like we train an amiibo as oh, that no. could then <laughs> <laughs> oh god that would be funny and actually real talk we get the amiibos we have them play in Mario Tennis Ultra Smash what wait you can play that with amiibos yeah yeah it's oh, like that was... that was my main selling point in buying Ultra Smash that and Mario Tennis which it wasn't the same and it wasn't worth the 60 bucks but I'm a sucker for Mario Tennis so Honestly, yeah I wish I had bought that game I, I regret it personally. I feel like that was a regretful purchase, but whatever. Eh. Open. Was open was okay. Open had stuff that I enjoyed. Well, Ultra Smash did too, but it felt lacking. I don't know. I mean, for me, it'll always be um, 64. Mm-hmm. When are we ever going to get a new Super Mario Strikers game? Strikers was freaking cool. I think the last one we had tense. was just that was one on the Wii U, right? No, not Strikers. I think there was mm-hmm. only like there was like a European GameCube one exclusive or something, and then there was the Wii, just Strikers. Like, uh, did they release the Strikers? Because what did they release that for the Wii U? Because I remember how the GameCube no. one. No, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Okay, because I know I have Strikers for GameCube. Like the second one that came out, it was like crazy insane well there's only two there's football which is on the gamecube and there was strikers charge which was on the wii right there's only two i have strikers charge i think it's on the gamecube i might have to go I'm look at my game collection this. again i'm googling yeah. this right now Super mario strikers mario strikers actually yeah because there were strikers and the strikers charged well i thought it was like strikers football i mean it's just for europe or something the there's board. super mario strikers on gamecube Let's just check the wiki. The wiki should say. So, okay. we were literally on Mario Strikers, board. also we're known as Mario games. Smash Football in Europe and Australia. Okay. Well, um, football. Uh, uh, and then there's the sequel, Mario Strikers Charged on the Wii. Okay, the then game. I completely missed Charged. And then... Okay, I got it. For a second there, I thought they were going to make um, a third one as a hockey for something. Like, what? Okay, Strikers, sports game, blah, 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 Mario franchise. There's only the two. Yeah, there's only two. Strikers and Charged. Okay. That's oh, wow. I'll right, so say, as far as settling, cool. the, settling the tiebreaker on the list, if we have people watching, I'd ask them. But we don't. Uh, you know what? We could actually settle in Smash on NPC. <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea. I, I do too. That's what I me mean, and my friends used to do is to settle stuff. We're like, what do you want? Pizza? Like Chinese food? And we just like name it, whatever. And then we just set to level nine, just watch them go. And... All right, let's do that. Um, do, do, do any of you have your Wii U hooked up? Where did they do this? Mine's not hooked up, ready to go. No. Mine, I brought it to a Smash tournament, and it's just like in its carrying bag. That's all it really does now, is just get carried to the tournament. All right, so but, um, what we're gonna have to decide is who was represent which characters was representing what. Well, there's four total. Oh, all yeah. characters. Okay, yeah. Oh, well, Sonic um, Mania has to be Mania. Sonic, Sorry. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Sonic. Um, could Azure Striker be Mega Man in theory? Oh yeah, yeah, Since, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, I started putting Rock Man for a second. I was like, wait, no. <laughs> um. So then, what other games are fighting? You know, there's a really obscure title that no one probably remembers on the Super Nintendo. Um, 
Mega Man Soccer. No, I remember Mega Man Soccer. I remember Jeez. that, but there was there's also like a Monopoly Mega Man. I do not Japan. remember that one. There's like oh, I gotta Google that now too. But yeah, it's like Monopoly like Mega Man game. Like All right, who do we want Stardew Valley and Rocket League? Should Stardew Valley be villager close enough? Technically, yes, uh, that would make sense. Yeah. And then is there a car character? Captain Falcon? Rocket League? Yeah. I was gonna say Bayonetta, but that's just because I like Queen Bay. Oh, of course. Of I course. think Captain Falcon would make sense for Rocket League. Yeah, yeah. Captain Falcon. All right. Okay, Wiley and Wright, no rocket board. That's paradise. And that's just like guess a bad translation of the uh, of the Japanese what? title. That's it's a video game weird. title in the original Mega Man series, a business simulation game similar to the board game Monopoly. What? Yeah, this is a thing. Wow. Um, well, a business I simulation in which the player chooses among several characters in the Mega Man series and competes with other players or computer AI in purchasing spaces of property. The characters include Droll, Dr. Light, Wily, Dr. Cossack, and Kalinka. Each participant is given a turn, moving a certain number of spaces. Then at the property square, they're given the option to buy a certain amount of Zenny, the game's currency, that they can charge. And the, they can then charge characters rent when they land. So it's literally just Monopoly with Mega Man. It's literally just Monopoly with Mega Man. That's weird. Mm hmm. Wow. Uh, that blows my mind. Like, All right. People, people say that soccer is an obscure Mega Man game. That freaking Monopoly Mega Man <laughs> is obscure. That's really obscure, man. That's funny. Weird, man. Capcom, I miss Capcom's balls that they used to have. They just don't do things like that anymore. I mean, you're game. right. They, I feel like it's not even a matter of having balls. It's just like they don't really want to make games people want to see either. For some reason, like they don't even want yeah. to just watch it. what Mega Man game that people fans have been begging for have they released really? Because it's like Rock Band Legends Three. <coughs> I I know that's the big one that gets me every single time. Mega Man Legends Three. We didn't even get the demo that we were promised. We get at least get the demo. If the demo sold well, we'd see. But yeah. no, they didn't yeah. even do that. And then like in like 2014, maybe maybe 2012. I don't remember. But from there to there, maybe there's just the plan for Mega Man. They had three Mega Man games. All of them got canceled. So like, yeah. how we're gonna save Mega Man is that these three cool new games, all of them canceled. Capcom needs to get their heads out of their asses. Yeah, really and then like Mighty Number no. Nine was a valiant attempt, but it, it wasn't the savior we needed. All right, so we're gonna end it here real quick because Jay's gotta gotta leave. Mm -hmm. uh, but so we hey, can Jay. post a post video of the results. Yeah, well, that, yeah. So what, we're, what we need to do is Jay, you gotta you gotta record the. Set I could probably that. record it too, but who's official? I mean, is yours already set up? Actually, no, mine's not set up. My Wii oh. is. Uh, yeah, I've only got it set up for the Switch. And I'd actually okay. have to like charge my gamepad because I think it's dead. <laughs> I could, I could probably set it up then. Just give me an intermission or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Whoever gets it done, uh, right. <laughs> post the great results. NPCs. I will throw that up yeah. as another video as well. <laughs> yeah, this will be great. This will be great content. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Got a job. We'll get that post it out there then. All right. Good work together, guys. Yep. Thank you. And right. stay tuned for the top five reveal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. See you guys. See ya. See ya.